I thought of an exercise, so let's assume that I am a producer of hand drying products and I use cotton roll to dry my hands as a, a product. I want to see whether I am performing better or worse environmentally than my uh, competitor products. So what I did here is that I compared the life cycle so uh, of the reusable cotton roll because after you use the cotton roll you will actually wash it to use it again so that's why it's reusable against a paper roll used from recycled paper and then I also have a hand dryer system so the one that blows warm air and it's, uh, so I did all the data collection and basically here I'm just plotting the results of the total environmental performance so considering all environmental impacts, water use, resource use, climate change and so on. So if I look at this graph, it looks like this product, the reusable cotton roll, is actually performing better than the other two products because the environmental impact is lower. If I am really eager on getting my product even better and to really be a role model on the hand drying systems, maybe what I want to do also is to see if I can even improve more. So what I could see is um, what is then the contribution of all the different parts of the life cycle to the overall environmental load. I can use Simapro in order to basically run the, the network so to really see the life cycle and to really see where is the biggest environmental load. And if I calculate it for the life cycle that I chose, the reusable cotton roll. So here we have the life cycle, the production, the laundering. So the top is basically the one that groups the total environmental load. We have something like 10.8 points. If I want to see the percentage of contribution, then I click here and then I see that about 55%, 56% comes from the production of the cotton roll, about 3% from the transport and about 40% from the actual laundering of the, the cotton rolls. So the first thing that I would see is, can I replace this heat process by another process which has a lower environmental profile? Uh, the same way I could also see here about 12% is coming from one of the ingredients of the detergent. So is there a way that I could use another detergent which would have other ingredients with a lower environmental load? And this can be really easily done and tweaked with Simapro because you can also just using an existing life cycle you can simply replace one process by another and compare one against each other and then see what the the impact is. Well about 56% 56 was coming also from the production of the cotton roll and if we see down what is the contribution it's mostly from growing the cotton. So you see growing the cotton, the actual manufacturing of the cotton roll, so all the electricity, energy use, additives that you put into the process of really manufacturing from the cotton, the, the raw cotton, to the cotton roll. Then you see the transport contribution and actually the laundering dominates. If you look essentially at this graph, what you see is that the biggest load is on, on washing the rolls. And here you can also see that there are different colors and that's basically the impact that we are looking at and the red is the human health damage, the blue is the ecosystem damage and the green is the resources. And you see that for laundering it's pretty much divided but when we look at the cotton roll, ecosystem is the biggest part, this blue. And that's because land had to be transformed from natural land to agricultural land in order to to produce cotton. A lot of people still think that transport is a really big problem, that's something I realize, and most of the times it really isn't. And if they are really putting a lot of efforts to get a supplier which is closer to them, but that actually has a worse production line where they have much more emissions or more energy losses, 
then it's not really a good deal.